Hey guys, so of course I have to make videos on MetaZoo because I took a lot of criticism and negativity. In fact, I'm probably MetaZoo community's number one detractor. And I was right. I was right. MetaZoo is going out of business. It honestly survived for quite a bit of time. I'm not going to lie to you. I think a lot of people were expecting it to go belly up earlier, including myself. The reason MetaZoo, I mean, have you ever seen a game where there's just promos of one dude and it's one dude promoting the game? Obviously, this is not a good look. Obviously, this is not stable. Because what if that one dude then makes a video saying, hey, this is not investable. I never told you to invest in it. No one would ever invest in it. And he's your main spokesperson. Your game would be dead. Your game would just be dead. And I think that's what happened here. Uh, they had a roadmap. They had all these promises and all these great things they were going to offer. It's a joke. It's a joke, guys. You know, at this moment in time, I'm trying to start a family. And we have our first scheduled appointment on next Monday, Monday the 5th, with a doctor. Hopefully we like her. And it just puts, like, MetaZoo and Alpha Investment, like, kind of, there's just small things. I have fun with this. I'm not a fan of MetaZoo. I don't own a single MetaZoo card. I'm not a fan of Alpha Investment. I don't really have... As people say, axe to grind against them. I make these videos because they're fun to make. There's no other reason. There's not a secretive initiative. There's not anything other than it's fun to make. And it's fun to give a... Uh, they call it the devil's advocate, right? Any lawyer is going to know that in law school, that you're not supposed to represent the easy arguments. You're supposed to represent the hard ones. You're supposed to look at MetaZoo and say, hey, is this investable? Should you put $8,200? It's really easy two years ago, and I can read comments, and you can read comments, where everyone's saying MetaZoo is going great, collector con this, collector con that. It's really easy to be positive about MetaZoo. Like, you don't understand, guys. When this stuff is selling for $8,200, the reason it's selling, and again... These booster boxes, their MSRP, I think is around 130, 140. And Rudy's buying them for less than 70 because 70 is the distribution cost. Well, um, he made a shit ton of money. And the reason that people are buying this for way, way more, we're talking about thousands of dollars more than even the MSRP, is because they believe it can go up in price. They believe it's an investment. They believe that this guy right here, they trust him. Metasu was his first real pump and dump that failed. And it won't be the last. Uh, I think Ravnica Remastered, he's pumping that like crazy. He must have a ton of inventory of that product. He's pumping that like if his life depended on it. He's pumping Weiss. The dude doesn't play Weiss. He doesn't know anything about anime. He doesn't watch the animes. He doesn't know anything about MetaZoo. Uh, in his native $100 plus a box, which is now down to $70, he pulled the best car one of the best cards you can pull. No idea. No idea. <laughs> it just kind of went by. And he doesn't know anything about Magic either. Like, there are times where he's pulling cards for other people, mind you, and he has no idea their value. He'll pull a crappy card and say it's $100. He'll pull a $100 card and say it and just go straight by it. I remember Dominaria, what was it? Dominaria Collector's Edition. And there was a chance you could get a Legends card. And he didn't even know what slot it was in. Like, guys, like, guys, like, <laughs> please, please tell me this is not reality. A guy who has this much product, this much investment, Right, and in selling it to you, the collector, as an investment, has no idea where the rare card is, the, the card that everyone's chasing, what slot it's located in. And he goes by it and doesn't even show it on camera. 
And these are not his cards. These are his Patreon cards. And he's, he, he's our leader. He's the guy telling us what we got to invest our money in. God, this is redonkle. It is so bad, guys. It is so, so bad. Um, and I don't think many people see it for what it is. It's not a joke when people lose this type of money. It's not a joke when people buy into MetaZoo thinking it's an investment and then now it's gone. Like this is people's hard earned money. And like I said, you know, when I think about how much it costs to have a family to, you know, even go on a date, something like this in America, it's getting more expensive. Um, it's getting harder and harder to live in America, right? At the end of the day, um, what I can tell you about this is kind of simple and really obvious. Don't give your money to scammers because they will be more than happy to take your money from you and they will absolutely, they will destroy you. They don't care about you. They don't know who you are. You're some un, you're just some money bag. Like you're some Taco Bell employee, right? Do you really think these, like he even knows the name of his, his uh, subscribers or his patrons? The way that he treats his patrons is so disgusting. He yells at them. He screams at them. He writes angry emails at them. Like these are his customers, by the way. And they love it. They love it. They just can't get enough of him. You know, de demeaning them and just selling them junk. And again, I, I just don't know where, how this is. MetaZoo was always going to go to zero. It was always in pump and dump, guys. I said it from the very beginning. I said they had no IP, which is still true today. That there, there was not going to be a movie. You know how many people, like when I was talking about two years ago, they told me I was wrong and there would be a movie, there would be a anime, there would be a video game, basically Pokemon, essentially. Well, where are you guys at today? I mean, I can go back and look at those comments. I bet you those people aren't, aren't even collecting MetaZoo now. If they're smart, they got out. And, and the community called me a donkey and stuff like that. They're a very hateful group, and I would know. And I love it. I, I will take, I will drink your tears. Okay? So another group I'm part of is Pokemon Go. And people complain and stuff, but we have a good time, man. It's like touched grass, you idiots. Like, my girlfriend and I, we play a lot of Pokemon Go together. And even if there's not like, a, you know, we, we do community day, we do all, we do a community day, we do global. We even uh, go to New York City a lot of times to go raid when there's a, a good Pokemon. That's a fantastic community, guys, because th those are people in person. Those are people you meet. Those are people you meet face. No one ever had anything bad to say to me in person. It's always online, right? These haters and so on. And, and MetaZoo really does have a quite negative community. They do. Look at how they attack me. And they, they view it as like, oh, we're defending the what brand? There is no brand anymore. You guys are the problem. Like they don't the MetaZoo content creators have no idea. They are the problem. Right? Because like how are you gonna get new players in? I went in MetaZoo with an open mind, because my girlfriend liked the Hello Katie set. It was a disaster. So how are you gonna tell me? Anyway, enough is enough, right? It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. And everyone who invested in it, unless you quick flipped it like Rudy. I, I think Rudy is the only one who quick flipped it fast enough. You lost a lot of money.